What's up, everybody? Dirt Nasty here, www.thetrademarkland.com. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about all the things uh, Infinite Warfare, uh, including uh, the combat rigs, weapons, and such, uh, attachments, uh, game modes, score streaks, what have you. But this video right here is going to focus on the combat rigs of the game. Uh, so, we're going to break down each one of the rigs or what we used to know as specialists in Black Ops 3, they are now called combat rigs. So we're going to talk about them. We're going to talk about their abilities. We're also going to talk about the, the characteristics of the combat rigs and what they're designed to do in the game. So starting in Black Ops 3, we have what we know as the specialist. The specialist had a unique abilities, whether they were offensive or defensive. In the new game, they're going to be called combat rigs. They're going to have abilities as well. They're going to be having an ability called a payload and another ability called a trait. And each combat rig will have unique payloads and unique traits. There will be six combat rigs within the new game. The first combat rig we have available is called the Warfighter. His payloads include the Claw, the Combat Focus, and Overdrive. With the Claw, it is a rapid fire spread shot weapon with fricassee ballistic rounds designed to take out the enemy in front of you and around blind corners. Combat Focus is gain double streak points for a limited time. Overdrive grants a temporary speed surge. He has three trait abilities, ping, persistence, and resupply. The first one, ping, is kills and assists will send out sonar from that enemy's death location, highlighting any additional nearby hostiles. Persistence. Score streaks don't reset after death, but they cost more to attain. However, you can only earn one of each score streak per match. And then resupply. Lethal and tactical equipment can be resupplied via scavenger bags. The second available combat rig is called Merc. It has three payload abilities, Steel Dragon, Bull Charge, and Reactive Armor. With Steel Dragon, a heavy beam weapon that can track multiple targets. Bull Charge, the player pulls out a riot shield and charges at opponents, killing anyone in the way. Reactive Armor protects the player from small arms fire for a limited time. It has three trait abilities, Man at Arms, Infusion, and Shockwave. With Man at Arms, the player can carry maximum ammo and heavier weapons without any penalty to movement. With Infusion, the player regenerates health faster after taking damage. And with Shockwave, pressing a button while midair, unleashing a slam on the ground. The third combat rig is called Synaptic. It has three payload abilities of Equalizer, Reaper, and Rewind. With Equalizer, dual wield two suppressed machine guns. Reaper, Synaptic gets down on all fours with increased movement and a one-hit melee strike. Rewind, the player can rewind back to a previous position with their health and ammunition intact. The three traits are Combat Burst, Rush Down, and Propulsion. With Combat Burst, each kill boosts the player's movement speed for a short time. With Rush Down, the Jump Pack recharges faster and damages enemy below its blast. With Propulsion, clicking the right stick allows the player to dash horizontally. The fourth combat rig is called FTL. Its three payload abilities include Eraser, FTL Jump, and Phase Shift. Eraser, an energy handgun that turns enemies into dust. FTL Jump, the player basically teleports a short distance in the direction they are moving. Phase Shift. FTL enters another dimension where it cannot take damage unless another player is in the same dimension. The three traits included are Power Slide, Supercharge, and Perception. With Power Slide, the player can slide further, faster, and can aim down sights while sliding. With Supercharge, enemies drop packs that boost friendly teammates' payload charge meters. Perception, the HUD will notify the player when an enemy is looking in their direction. The fifth combat rig in the game is called Striker. Its payload abilities include Gravity Vortex Gun, Micro Turret, and Centurion. With Gravity Vortex Gun, it launches a gravity distorted projectile that pulls in enemies and then damages them. With the Micro Turret, Striker puts a turret down that tracks enemies. And with Centurion, an augmentation that will destroy enemy projectiles and acts as a portable EMP. The three traits are included Trophy Drone, Relay, and Hardened. With Trophy Drone, like the trophy system from past Call of Duty games, the Trophy Drone can destroy incoming ordinances but needs time to recharge between cancellations. Relay. Placed equipment acts as radar, letting the player know when enemies are near it. And hardened, equipment and drone have extra health and don't respond after the player's death. And last but not least, we have Phantom. Phantom's payload abilities include Ballista EM-3, Pulsar, and Active Camo. Ballista EM-3, a high-powered projectile launcher that can pierce enemies and pin multiple players to walls. Pulsar, advanced radar that tracks enemies on the player's HUD. Active Camo, the player turns almost completely invisible. Its three traits are Marked Target, Heightened Senses, and Rear Guard. Marked Target, doing damage to an enemy, prevents them from regenerating health for five seconds. Heightened Senses, audio awareness increases while zooming with a sniper rifle. And Rear Guard, a back shield that will mitigate some damage to the player from behind. 
So basically we have three types of rigs. We have an assault based rig, a support type rig, and a stealth type rig. Warfighter is a mobile mid-range combat rig. This rig is the most well-rounded, offers the most accessible options, favoring offensive, defensive, and objective focused play. Merc is a defensive minded combat rig and is built to deliver maximum damage with a high amount of armor. Synaptic Combat Rig is your extreme close quarters combat specialist and tends to favor weapons designed for that style of combat. This rig might be great for a melee class loadout. FTL is a run and gun class designed to get into combat as quickly as possible, but also able to zip away whenever things get a little crazy. Basically, the great escape artist. Striker is a support focused combat rig that, in conjunction with other rigs, can help significantly weaken the enemy team. This might be a great objective based combat game mode rig. And last but not least, the Phantom is the sniper or stealth combat rig in the game. This rig wants to stay out of the direct combat action and his abilities are designed to help avoid detection by enemy players. So there you have what are known as combat rigs in Infinite Warfare. They are very similar to what we know as Specialist in Black Ops 3 with both offensive capabilities and their payloads and defensive capabilities and their traits. We don't know yet if there will be an alternate outfit, camo gear for the uniforms, or any type of combat rig progression like hero armor or such uh, from Black Ops 3. So I hope you enjoyed the breakdown of the combat rigs in Infinite Warfare. In our next video, we'll break down the weapons of Infinite Warfare, the weapons classes, and talk about the attachments, the optics, and variants available in the weapon system. Yes, weapon variations are coming back to COD, very similar to what was in Advanced Warfare, with each variant have unique camos and also unique and progressively more powerful abilities. Thank <laughs> you.